In the previous video, we have discussed about the nucleus, ribosome, central, and also the spindle fibers. So in this video, we are going to discuss on rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, and also the Golgi apparatus. So number one, we are going to study about the structure of rough ER, rough endoplasmic reticulum. So rough endoplasmic reticulum is continuous from the outer membrane of nucleus. So this is a two-dimensional view of rough ER and this is a three-dimensional view of rough ER. Rough ER. So you look at the name of rough ER, reticulum. So what does it mean reticulum? Reticulum means a network. Rough endoplasmic reticulum is a network. A network of flatten sac. So sacs like back. They are interconnected. They are interconnected. You can see they are interconnected to each other. So these are the lumen or I say the space. And this space filled with fluid. Number two, rough ER has ribosome attached on its surface. So you can see they appear rough. So what is the function of rough ER? Then you have to know what is the function of ribosome. In the previous video, we already discussed the function of ribosome, which is synthesis protein. Synthesis protein based on our DNA. So the rough endoplasmic reticulum transports protein, transfer protein synthesized by the ribosome. So the protein will enter the rough ER and then they were packed into transport vesicle. So this is actually transport vesicle. So this transport vesicle detach from the rough ER and transport to the Golgi apparatus. So they transport to Golgi, Gassini, Gassana, Gassini, Gassana, Gassini, Gassana. So they are transport to Golgi apparatus. Now, we are going to look at the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So, the structure of smooth ER. So, smooth ER is a network of tubules. A network of tubules. So, there are many tubules, they are interconnected. You can see, no ribosome attached on the smooth ER, so they just smooth. So what is the function of smooth ER? Number one, smooth ER synthesis lipids, steroids, hormones, and number two, so smooth ER also is a site, a site for detoxification. Detoxification is a process that removes the toxin from our body. So in our liver cell, we have a lot abundant smooth ER for detoxification. So if you ask teacher what is the difference between rough ER and smooth ER? Number one, we look at the structure. For rough ER is a network of plankton sac, but for smooth ER is a network of tubules. Tube. Number two. On the surface of rough ER, you can find ribosome attached on it, but for smooth ER, no ribosome attached on its surface. Number three, you can tell the difference in function for rough ER to transport protein and for smooth ER, synthesis lipids, steroids, and hormones. And smooth ER is also a site for detoxification. So, the so smooth ER also pack the contents into transport vesicle. So this also is a transport vesicle. So they are transport to the Golgi, Golgi apparatus. So next, Golgi apparatus. So what is the function of Golgi apparatus? And what is the structure of Golgi apparatus? So we look at the structure first. So for Golgi apparatus is flatten sac, a flatten sac. But this flatten sac is not like the rough ER, they are interconnected. 
for Gojek apparatus, they are not connected, they are not interconnected. So for Gojek apparatus, what is the function? Gojek apparatus process, package, and act as a transport center for CPL. So what is C? What is P? What is L? C stands for carbohydrate for me, for proteins, P protein, and L for lipids. So this is a short form for me only. So C is carbohydrates, P is protein, and L is lipids. So because, so you know the proteins, they are received the protein from the Golgi from the round ER, and they are received the lipids from the smooth ER. So how about the carbohydrates? So actually the carbohydrates also form the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So they also can modify, they can mix, they can process the carbohydrate and protein and then they can form glycoprotein. They also can process the carbohydrate together with the lipid and then they can form glycolipids. They also can process the proteins into the enzyme and so they can form lysosome. Inside the lysosome, contain the hydrolytic enzymes. So they can pack them into vesicle and they are detached from the Golgi apparatus as secretory vesicle. So the vesicle come up from the Golgi apparatus is known, is called secretory vesicle. So this secretory vesicle move toward the plasma membranes and they fuse to the plasma membrane and they secrete the contents of, of the cell. So, remember, for Golgi apparatus, Golgi apparatus is always capitalized. So, again, you look at this, Golgi apparatus is always capitalized because it is named for the scientist Camillo Golgi, an Italian scientist who described this organelle. So the G must be capitalized. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching my video.